I want to talk about some financial things in the in the sports world. We're going we're going to talk about finances in the sports world. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. I am not a financial specialist. I'm just giving some advice. That's it. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. So yeah, I I see a lot of athletes talk about what they did with their first check, right? And me, I'm going to tell you what I did with my first check. My first check, well, let's back up, back up. I hear a lot of athletes saying, you know, they bought a mama house, they regret it. They was doing a lot of things for people um, and they regret it. You know, as they get older, they understand. When you first get your check, people think they just supposed to just spend all this money on the people. No, you have to make sure yourself is straight first before you want to help other people or take care take care of other people. Yes, you can help, but you always need to make sure yourself is straight first, meaning the athlete. Now, in my uh, this is how I viewed it when I got into the NFL. And this is my advice to athletes. You got to accumulate assets, right? That's the thing. You got to accumulate assets. And you got to understand and establish the difference between liability and an asset. So when I got in the NFL, you know, I I had a, I did a I do I do another one how I talked to my finance version Advisor and I had to learn about stocks and bonds and all that good stuff. But when I got in the NFL, every hundred thousand dollars I save, I would buy a municipal bond, a tax-free, triple-A rated municipal bond. And that was my goal. I just was trying to stack them things up. Every hundred thousand dollars, just keep buying municipal. Bond. I'm a fourth-round pick, right? I'm only making two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a year. So I'm, my budget is tight. I'm, I'm big bar and stealing around there. You know, I furnished my whole house from Walmart with $5,000. The TV, the cups, the furniture, the towels, everything. I'm, I'm not lying. This is the truth. You know, that's how I, I looked at it. So, you know, and then, and then that, that's the easy part, the season, because you, you got your money and then you're busy. You got all these games. So you can probably spend a little bit of money, but now you got the off season. That's when it's really going to take an effect. And that's when you have all the free time and all the money to spend in the world. So now I make it to my first off season. I'm a Super Bowl champion. I'm a Super Bowl champion. And I got to come home and live in a hotel. I'm a Super Bowl champion. I got to come home and live in a hotel. My mama had filed for bankruptcy two times and she is evicted. Out of I don't even know. She kept everything a secret. She was great at not letting nothing be known that something is wrong. I'm coming home to a hotel. My mom is evicted for the fourth time. Third, fourth, fifth time. Guess what? She filed bankruptcy so she can't even get an apartment. She can't even qualify. Thank the Lord. I made it to the NFL at that time. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know what, what could we have done. I'm coming fresh out of college. I have no experience in life. So, Sometimes you don't understand the situations that some of these athletes are in. We come from, we coming from, from almost nothing. Like we, we didn't have any assets. My mama had no assets. Let's check the check. So sometimes we have to do more than people think we have to do for, 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 for our loved ones. I didn't have a choice. What? I didn't, I didn't buy myself a house or a place to live. I was coming home to live with my mom. I was using my Super Bowl money, my ticket money my playoff money, and was able to buy a condo for my mom. And, you know, the rest is history from there. God blessed me, and I'm so thankful for that. But that's my story. Like, and that's, you know, a lot of people's situations you're dealing with. Like, you don't know, and, and, and it's easy to stay a course while you're in the season. But remember, that offseason is a beast, and it's coming. All right, interception, man. We would say what needs to be said. Salute. Oh,